thoughts after that one? Where do you think it, it broke down in the fourth quarter? Well, as far as the fourth quarter goes, uh, you know, we got a lead and they had two transition baskets after makes and, um, you know, that, that can't happen. You know, it's just uh, they pushed the pace on us the entire game. Um, you know, obviously we didn't shoot the ball well from three in the fourth quarter, but that wasn't the reason we lost. Uh, we really didn't take away their transition at all during for most of the night. And that in the fourth quarter, um, I think, made the difference. Dwight Jaynes, NBC Sports Northwest. Terry, what was the plan late with Dame at the foul line? Uh, it looked as if he was trying to make – were you trying to make both there uh, use your timeout later after a foul? Was that the plan? Um, I don't know. You, I don't know if Dame meant to miss or not. Uh, I did not tell him to miss it. Uh, I wanted to make it and uh, hopefully foul right away, and we still had a timeout left to advance the ball. So um, I don't know if he intentionally – I don't think that he intentionally missed it, but um, I didn't ask him. didn't look like it. It, it, it appeared not, but – yeah, you're comfortable playing it that way rather than trying to miss it intentionally and get that rebound. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a tough call. I mean, it's a crapshoot. Um, you know, I think personally, if you make the free throw, uh, they call timeout, they advance it, you foul right away. There's probably going to be one point uh, one point something left on the clock, uh, enough time to get a catch and shoot. So, uh, my preference in that situation would have been to foul. Uh, see what they do at the free throw line and go from there since we had a timeout. If we didn't have a timeout, it would probably have been different. Jason Quick, the athletic. Coach, what stood out to you about Nurk tonight? Um, well, it was his best game of the season. That, you know, that's, that's obvious. Uh, probably the best thing was offensively he finished around the basket. Uh, in one of his better finishing nights, that uh, what he ended up uh, 11 for 15. So I think uh, obviously it was a great game, but I think his finishing in the paint was the, the most obvious thing. And what was your guys' idea on that inbounds? I mean, Norm got him a good look. Uh, it didn't look like that was the design inbound, though. No, I mean, you've been watching us for a while. Uh, we're looking to go high-low. They did a good job of taking away the, the entry pass. Uh, Norm made a, made a good pass to him, and he had a, a shot under the basket. So um, the play was to get the ball to Nurk in the paint in some way. Yeah. Coming back to Dwight. Terry, 74 points in the paint is the most you guys have given up all season. Uh, it looked like they were – getting a lot of penetration for one thing. What do you attribute that to? And I mean, it seemed like Nurk was having a good game, but certainly the guys he were he was defending scored a lot of points too. Well, they, they scored in the paint in a variety of ways. They, you know, transition points are, are a lot of times in the paint. Uh, we had trouble with their pick and roll, particularly at the end of the second quarter. Uh, their guards were getting into the paint either to score or to drop off to the big guys. So the pick and roll defense – led to their points in the paint. Um, they had some seals. Uh, you know, I think um, Jackson got catches in the paint and finished around the paint as well. All right. Thanks, Coach. We'll wrap it there. All right. Thank you.